junkfoodtaster.com. Here we go, my beautiful friends. So you voted over 1,000 of you, and the majority of people want now more funny candy, fancy candy, whatever. So I've got a lineup with five products. I already showed the lineup yesterday, so yeah. On the left hand side, I got the school cone. This the time a little bit bigger one. Hey, okay, let's open it up. Right, let's go straight forward. And this is oop. This is what not the actually school kid would get, but like the younger siblings. Um, yeah, I bought this unicorn themed one. I'm just opening up here the opening. Here you go. Here I show the packaging. It says unicorn with a rainbow, of course. Yeah. So now I open it up. Okay, what's inside? Bubble gum. Big bag of bubble gum. Okay, what else? A for <laughs> fortune cookie. Yeah, let's see. Let's see my fortune. Two fortune cookies. <laughs> Then this and that's it. <laughs> okay, a bag of <laughs> so bubble gum, a bag of trolley worms. Two forty. <laughs> I was just thinking more. The other one was more, uh, or at least. Um, I just said they said for big packaging. Okay, fortune cookie. So the last fortune cookie I will open up when I. Uh, do the so what does it tell me? Uh, ah, it's it's fortune cookie for children. Okay. Instead uh, of a kindergarten luft, you are yeah, sort of the or hard to translate. This is the stuff they the teacher writes on the board here. Kalk, kalk, odor. <laughs> oh my god. Ready, let's eat it. Oh, this is a bit like a waffle. Yeah, it reminds me of something. What is it? It totally tastes like pancakes. Anyways. This will be a long episode. Let's check out the bubble gums. And so this seems to be an underground producer I've never heard about. Um, it says all sweet, 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 sweet. Good. I'm getting a green one. How does it work? Like this? Okay. So you have fun opening up or something. So I eat a green and a red one. I'm chewing already open up the wand. Yeah. Long lasting fun. This bubble gum is a catastrophe. It's almost liquid. This is like an American style bar. Oh, opening frame. We had a wand. Oh, quite long. Oh, was it long? Okay. Uh -huh. So I think this bubble gum contains tons of sugar. And it gets better the longer you have it in the mouth. Um. <clears throat> so here we go. I'm finished eating, and really don't like it too much. <laughs> sort of don't like the aroma. I say sweet and colorful. I don't know. Feel. Oh, I feel a bitter 
finish or something like this. Anyways, next step is the next product. Well, it's quite hard. So, it tastes like wine gum. And this also has an off taste. So, I give my mouth a break and then I be juicy. Alrighty, so I try a second attempt. Now, a small one. Okay, so yeah, I would say it starts quite normal, but then it gets very much wine gum vibes. I would say it has a strong finish. Uh, <laughs> it's not as fun as I want it to be. Okay. So now I <laughs> try to make um, something fancy, I hope, because sort of the video go south a little bit I think. So here we go. This is cutie catty lollipop and powder dip and lick. Uh, I think from China. Yeah made in China. Here comes with the flyer 8 plus and let's do it. Um, yeah this I have could reviewed also standard in. Oh so I need to get rid of this plastic. Can I remove it with a knife? Yes. Good. There you see the price, one euro, 29 cents. And to go. <laughs> oh my God. So we got a plastic kitty head. How does this work? Looks like a helmet from an astronaut. Oh my god, <laughs> I had this with toilet. <laughs> Do you remember the toilet video? Not like a real toilet, but like a little plastic toilet. Okay, this um, hard candy actually tastes quite good. No. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. Whoa. Sour apple powder. This is sour apple powder. Quite, it's a quite interesting product. Very crazy. And comp as you can see, very dysfunctional. So, you have to, the powder is too deep inside the, bo <laughs> the body of the cat and you can't get it out with all this, this lollipop which is shaped like a tongue. <laughs> oh. And after, after you... Um, are finished <laughs> you screw you screw the lollipop on top and then put the cap <laughs> so I sort of doubt completely that this this is not hygienic is it but I don't know if he's crazy this is a crazy product maybe a I should sh uh, show it also standalone because um, um, <laughs> most people just watch the ten, first 10 seconds of a video. It's like a now mid video. Okay. What could I do with this acid powder? 
of course you could eat also like this. Can I shake it? This is a very interesting product and very bizarre, obviously. This is super bizarre. So, um, I was eating one another of this bubble gum. So, I thought I wanted to get when I make a taste a verdict. I want to get it right. Yeah. It's a very strange product. I think uh, the finish, the finish when all the sugar, it's like a high sugar stuff. And when you have eaten all the sugar, so it's the chewing base taste strange, has a strange off taste. Anyways, we got <laughs> three products left. Um, let's take out this sort of a little marshmallow figurine. And here we go. I hope this is an easy opening. Uh, it's easy. Easy peasy. So we got four little marshmallows and on top decoration. So I guess I eat here one of these. cut stuff so as you can see marshmallow and then some coat and like sugar crystal coat and yes, I can't zoom any further okay um, hmm. yep, so I think this is a super crazy sugar product and we are not even <laughs> try out the most ridiculous part decoration sugar so I guess I eat this here that's all together wow this is mental mm -hmm. and um Decoration sugar got a perfume, perfume taste, very strong. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. This is very much over the top. Hey, it's not really tasting bad, but it tastes over the top too much. <laughs> too much of good stuff. Anyways, next product, look at this, we got a little shark. And is this actually merchandise? It says here, oh, it must be. So it says Nic Nicodillion. Baby shark. Yeah, it's printed so tiny, it's hard to focus. Um, yeah. Push up. So first of all, I get rid of this flyer. Aha, also broke this plastic thing. And now I can push up. What happens? This happens. So it's a closing mechanism for lollipop. Uh, of course, we have seen more fancy ones, but <laughs> it's funny nonetheless. Um, let's see how easily it opens. Okay, not that easy. So, okay.
Ja, same this is a standard issue half candy lollipop. You say it's Netherlands. Imported in the UK. Also sort in UK, okay. Actually, I know whether you could also eat like this. You could, but I don't know. Okay, last product for today. I hope it gets spectacular. So we got cotton candy and we got a bucket. We got a bucket with um, a Paw Patrol printed on. Also this, here's this TV channel. Nick, Nickelodeon, so Nickelodeon. Oh, <laughs> here we go. And yeah, of course you could reduce it, the bucket for all kind of purposes. Let's eat a little bit of candy floss. And then of course, like always, I drop it into water. Yeah, candy floss. Mm -hmm. Wow. I like it. Yeah, that's cool. What's the flavor? Must be our strawberry. Of course, there are different um, flavor options. I think there are also another merchandise. Ah. Awesome. It's like, I cannot have a difference. Um, to the candy floss machines. Um, I already showed it on a microscope. It looks pretty impressive on a microscope. Now the grand finale. It's a drop in of the cotton candy. So we are finished with our little episode. Um, yeah. And now comes the ultimate fun. Not like it's impressive what happens. So this is carbonated mineral water. And yeah, take a look at this. I count to three, I get it out. And I count to, oh no. So I can't drop it all at once, can I? Yeah, I've got two. So I count to three and then I drop it. One, two, three. <laughs> and that's gone. You can feel the sugar crystals. <laughs> What's delicious? I should have eaten it, but yeah, I wanted to show you it because so funny. And our other sugar, I could show you the other sugar. Here, marshmallow, we make a test now. Does marshmallow disappear? No. Does gummy disappear? No. Does bubble gum disappear? I wanted to have the other fortune cookie. Does this disappear? No. Ah, we could test the cat powder. What happens when I put the cat powder inside? Probably random now, of course. Yeah, okay, when powder is in water, what happens? Nothing. Yeah, this is not, this don't want to mix with the water, it seems. Anyways, let's get the logbook. Uh, I write down this, this product names and then we just, um, yeah finish the video and I eat the last fortune cookie. Alrighty, so here we are at the finish line. Let's put the logbook down. Let's get the fortune cookie. And yeah, I'm not kidding. So look at this. Another five minutes are passed and the powder is still not dissolving in water. Don't ask me why some substances are and some substances not. So, let's have it. 
Ja, United States. Always forward, never back. Fresh courage brings new luck. Very good. So, um, I rate the fortune cookie gourmet. So I think it has something. This I have done have the producer what is stuff randomly put in there. But this is how the interesting says. No. Somehow gets the producer. There's no producer, is it? Who makes the fortune cookies? Um <laughs> so. It's like the ingredients list of the fortune cookies. This is the first anonymous product I'm eating. We will never know. And there will be thousands of different recipes. But yeah, I rated this one's very kind of interesting. I can mix it between uh, ice cream waffle and, um, what did I say, pancake. So gourmet. Uh, I decided for a lot of things for gourmet. I just decided uh, to rate this gourmet. It's like for extreme sugar gourmets. Um, yeah, if I don't know whether this exists, sugar freaks. I also have a name here. This product is called Brochette. Mix Brochette Circus. So, it's also, I, I don't like it, but it's, it's you have this marshmallow, which is already too uh, uh, sweet. Then you have the sugar coating, which is over the top. And then you got decoration sugar. So three times over the top product. Alrighty, so what else do I wanted to rate Gomi? Actually, I wanted to rate this cat here, Gomi. This cutie catty, it has something. Where do you get just sour acid powder? Yeah. Okay, um, what else do we got? Pop up a lollipop already. So I wanted to rate some stuff. Fail the bubble gum. Yeah, two, yeah. Strange consistency, strange finish. And also the trolley whirly. Hey. I don't know why they taste so strong like wine gum. Anyways, this fail as well. So then I rate the candy floss win. This tastes really nice. And the pop up lollipop. Where have you gone? This here. Um, oh, this is of course like, it's a fun product. It's quite obvious. This is a rate of fun. Brown is fun. All right, there we have it. Saturday episode. I hope you liked it. And yeah. Let's see what the voting will bring. So the next voting will be uh, fun candy. Okay, the hall cannot get into the uh, voting. So the third option would be minion products. Okay. <coughs> and Aha, so diary products. So this will be the next three options. So thanks for watching my beautiful friends and see you on Monday.